Hey guys, how's it going? A uh, little bit of a different background today and a little bit of a different video. See, today I'm going to share my video with somebody that I really, really like. Actually, I love. And that is my beautiful wife. So me and Sue are actually going to do the project together. And we'll see how it goes. Now, I have to make a confession. You see, the thing is that I'm doing this also for Hunter. Because she saw something and she was like, oh, that looks really cool. Dad, you should do this. Now, the thing is, it is dealing with flour and salt and water. And it's to make a dough that you can make into a clay. Now, that dough is going to be very similar to another dough that's very famous. And that is Play-Doh. Okay, got to make a confession here. I love working with clay. I like working with plasticine. I like working with wax. I love all that stuff. But Play-Doh and anything with flower smelly kind of type smell makes me go... <clears throat> now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I love my daughter and she wanted me to do it and I'm going to do it. Now, I'm going to make another confession. My poor niece, who's now a full-grown woman, when she was little, because she loved her Uncle Paul, she actually made me, I think it was five pounds or ten pounds of Play-Doh to use. Yeah. And I opened the package and that smell went right up my nose and I went, <clears throat> but because of my beautiful niece, I could not allow myself to say, oh boy. So <clears throat> while I lived in an apartment, I actually put it in a cupboard and it stayed there until I moved out. So the day that I went to move out, I actually had to pull that 10 pounds of Play-Doh clay, whatever it was, grossness, out. And it had actually congealed and turned and oh, oh disgusting. So I apologize, Play-Doh, absolutely great product, has made millions of children happy. I understand that. And I wish that I could get past that the smell grossness so sit back watch the video and hopefully I don't go <laughs> through the video I'm sorry uh, don't know hey guys so uh, we are now here sitting here and Sue has all the stuff measured out and that but what I'm gonna do is let her tell you how you actually make the clay dough stuff okay so off uh, to the queen. Okay. So we start off with, it's a ratio of two to one, two parts flour to one part salt. So I have two cups of flour. Oh, I'm not in the video. Right there. And one cup of salt. And then we'll start with, this is a cup of water, but we'll start with just about three quarters of a cup. Should be good. And then stir it up. I already smell the flour. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some people add paint or color in at this point, but I think I'm just going to cover or color little bits separately with what's my powder stuff called for color? Oh, it's, um, it's pigment. Pigment powder. Yeah, pigment powder. Yeah. Okay. Like pigment, like for paint. And that you uh, dye pigment dyes and stuff like that. You add to... Uh, Anything you want, you can add it to clothes, you could add it to paint. Uh, yeah. I use Pretty it for much. bath bombs. Bath bombs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, looks bombs. like I am going to have to use probably all the water. Oh. It smells weird. <laughs> I don't know why. See, I like the smell of Play Doh. Yeah, I know. This is why this project's great for you. I know. You're loving it. I'm kind of going, oh boy. But um, now, in the meantime, I do actually have a bunch of tools. And the tools that you use, you can use anything, guys. Uh, this is like for sculpting with clay. Uh, you could use some sandpaper if you wanted to. Um, I've got, uh, oh, I like this thing because what it does is it's got like a, uh, what do you call that? What do you call that? What do you call that? Like a... A, a bridge, a raise, <laughs> right? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this right here. This part here. See like yeah. how it sticks out? Well, if you take it and roll it on the clay, 
it'll make that uh, oh texture 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 yeah. there. there texture all right and then this one here it's uh looks like an upside down umbrella that you can poke through right and then uh, what else i got in here oh uh my stuff that i use when i'm doing my uh other clay stuff right and wax and that and uh, so it just gives you like you can push and make little bulbs and then uh, other little aspects of it. So it's all there for you, right? Um, yeah, I've used a bunch of different things that you can use just to make different textures, right? Um, this brush here, if I could ever get it out, right? You see that? It has lots of stuff that you can do texture with, right? So you can smack the clay or something. Jesus, that's <laughs> Um, what do you smell? The flower? It must be. It must be the flower or something. It's just gross. I mean, what? I'll do this with social distancing. It's just disgusting. Mind you, I still can't smell or taste anything. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Sue has the benefit of not being able to smell or taste anything right now. So uh, when we have dinner, she basically goes by the idea of how it feels in her mouth. And if you can catch little things of sour on the edge of your mouth. It's yeah, if, it, if the food's more flavorful, the better. So yeah. I can feel it in my cheeks or the back of my tongue or tip of my tongue if it's sweet, I think. Yeah. Yeah, see, and then, like, me too, like, things that are doughy, like, even when it comes to eating, it's like, if, if it's doughy, uh, I don't like it, right? Sue so tried to make uh, this lovely cake the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she was trying to make a cake, and... I'll be honest, Sue is a great cook. Uh, does an amazing Not job lately. of cooking. <laughs> um, but for some reason, this cake came out horrible. It was the worst cake. Jesus, that's stinky. It wouldn't cook. Uh, it wouldn't cook, that's right. And so it was basically uh, sugar and dough and dough on top of dough and then a bit of cinnamon. So uh, it was not pleasant. <laughs> and not, so we, we didn't like that. Uh, yeah, like the other day, I actually got a donut and it was raw in the middle. That does not make me feel good. Yeah, so. So it takes a while to actually get this ready just to knead it to the good consistency. Like it's a nice stiff dough. Yeah, it does look, but like it looks good. Yeah, but if you feel good. it, you can still feel the grains of salt and everything. Oh, yeah. So all you do is so, smooth it out. Oh, well, so. you want to let it sit for about oh. 20 minutes, and then that allows the water to get into all the grains of salt and flour and everything. Oh. I mean, some people do it right away, but then it's probably going to crack more when you cook it. Oh, so it'll, yeah, so you don't get cracking and stuff like that. That makes sense. Yeah, so you've got to do the kneading. Hmm. Yeah, unless you want to touch it. <laughs> I'll knead it if I have to. I mean, you don't is it to. too tough for you there? Because I can do no, it. No, I'm strong. You're, yes, she is very, very strong. And just... Uh, so it's going to be about 20 minutes that we'll have to uh, let it sit. And that. So while we're doing that, we can uh, drink our drinks and uh, figure out what we're going to actually make. And I mm. can sit there and just keep my nose away from that thing. <laughs> oh. I have my cookie cutters. Oh, you're going to use cookie cutters? Yeah. Ah. You could do a heart shape and then paint a design on oh. it. Maybe put a hole so that you can hang it or something. Oh. <laughs> or I might make some beads. Make some beads. Oh, I have no idea what I'm going to make. I'm just going to squish stuff out and uh, hope something comes out of it. And that, uh, you know, I'm not as prepared with this beautiful heart, but chances are, you know. Star. Star. Oh, because you are such a star of the YouTube right now. That's what, that's what it is. That's true. It's because I don't have any imagination. I never know what to make when it comes to making stuff. Like, She's a pretty okay, good artist, little, actually. Uh, it's not a bad artist. Little snake. <laughs> She's very talented in a lot of ways. Yeah. Just not making coffee cake. No, not that about. recipe. Yeah. It was called the best ever coffee cake. Well, it just was not the best ever. Uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, we will be back shortly after it has all been neat out and... Uh, we let it sit for our good 20 minutes, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, jeez, there's the old hair. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, the hair might be coming off next week. Woo. So if you're interested in seeing me go down to a nub, watch a video for next week. Oh, yeah, that'd be interesting. But right now, enjoy this one, and uh, we'll be right back. So guys, we have allowed the clay or dough to sit for at least 20 minutes, actually probably a little bit more than that. But 
about 20 minutes is all I think you basically really need. Um, and uh, Sue's kneading it again. So it now feels we're pretty going, good. Not yeah, as, feels good. Not feels as good. grainy, I don't think. Yeah, so, oh, it's not as grainy? Yeah, she's right. That's right. Uh, the graininess has gone away. So basically what's happened is the salt is broken down uh, from the water, right? So it's allowing it to be. So because if you start to do it too early, I think the graininess will be a problem. And that. So I think that's uh, basically what we want to do is uh, make sure it doesn't, you know, be grainy. Right? And uh, so Sue's grabbing some pieces off there. And she's got some stuff for actually adding color. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to flatten it out and, I don't know, just make impressions or something like that. Grab so a blob. <laughs> I'm going to grab a blob. This will be my blob. And uh, this will be Sue's blob. And we will start. It will be fun. It will be. Mm. <laughs> oh, it smells on my hand. Yeah. All right. So um, it's actually kind of fun to work with. I mean, absolutely... Uh, therapeutic you know if you're putting this on you know just to be therapeutic it's very nice um, it's just the stink of it that's all that matters um, probably you could add perfume to it or something like that to keep the smell down if you're one of the people like myself right which I'm probably a small percentage of people mm -hmm. who actually really dislike the smell of this I've done it with Kool-Aid packet in it before oh yeah that's right uh, you can actually color yeah. it with Kool-Aid and uh, you, then you smell the Kool-Aid too yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, you didn't seem like... to help me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, not at all, actually. So, uh, as I say, I'm going to roll this out. And we were also finding out a few other things, too, that will help. Uh, one is um, you can actually use the microwave, right? Uh, and supposedly it actually works really fast on the microwave. Uh, you can use it in the oven, too. Uh, the other thing, too, is that you can just literally let it dry. But letting it just dry takes something around 72 hours. Yeah. Right? Which is air dry. Uh, which is fine. I mean, if that's what you want to do, do it. Right? Even in the oven, it's um, uh, 180 degrees for about four to five hours. Or you could do 30 seconds to a couple of minutes in the microwave. Yeah. I was just thinking that uh, maybe to get the salt to break down a little faster, I would maybe add some hot water to the salt itself and make a slurry. And then add it in because I think that because I still feel a bit of a graininess to this one that we've got here. It's funny because in the recipes they specifically say use cold water. Oh. So I don't know what the purpose is. Well, here I, know, I like am. When... I had this brilliant thought <laughs> and then shot down again. But that's just my life. I know when you're <laughs> cooking with dough, everything's really good, supposed okay. to be cold. Cold water, cold butter. Yeah. See, so this I is why know. I let Sue do a lot of this stuff for me because she <laughs> follows the rules to a T and does a great job of it. Where me, I just want to experiment and find out and then when it's all over, I don't know how I even did it. So it's always better to know the actual process of doing it properly. Mm -hmm. So what am I going to make? Don't know yet. As I said, I'm flattening it out. Uh, I'm just going to maybe see how it goes texture-wise, right? Just to see what that's going to be like. Uh, yeah, where was that piece that I liked a lot? Yeah. I'm adding some pink pigment powder to a little piece just to see. It takes quite a bit though. Yeah, that looks actually it. good. Yeah. That makes your hands pink. <laughs> yeah, does it wash up well or are you going to be pink? No, it washes pretty good. Yeah. When I use it for the bath bombs, right? It's... Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. You use it for the bath bomb. It, so. it does make the bathtub look pretty gross living in. But... Oh yeah, and, and something just quick uh, for those people who have actually f do follow us quite extensively. Uh, there was a video that was out that uh, unfortunately Sue did get COVID, uh, but uh, as you can see, things are going really well. All right, mm -hmm. so thanks for all those people who uh, sent messages and that. And uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're very happy uh, and that. So we're doing we're doing good. Right. Uh, right now, I, if I could find that piece that I showed you earlier, that would be even better. But that's going to take me... Oh, you know what? I'm just going to take some of these things and bang little divots into it. See, okay, so I can... I'm just going to make textures. I'm not even going to try to make anything, really. Um, I'm just more interested in how this stuff works. And the other thing, too, for yourselves, to see what you guys can do with it, right? Um, if uh, there is any of the oven stuff, uh, definitely make sure parental guidance, right? Uh, parents, you know, want to make sure the kids are safe. Uh, but the thing is, 
nice fun thing to do while you're doing nothing, <laughs> right? Uh, which uh, right now sometimes we're doing a lot of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, it's always good to have somebody that you're having fun with, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, now I'm so adding some silver to it. I want to kind of pink and silver. Marbleize it. Mar marble. <laughs> Is that a word? We can use marbleizing. Oh, I think marbleizing sounds marbleize. like a word. Where is that one? Like, okay, I got the box. It's this big by this big. And how could I lose that little piece? Wow. What piece are you looking for? The part that I said to you, I said, look, it'll... it'll. Uh... Oh, the silver handle for the texture? Yeah. Hmm. I swear to you, it's going to be... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Finally. So I've got that, and... Uh... Oh, did you notice? So... Yeah, I'm going to roll this, and uh, yeah, this did very little. Or, I don't know, I can't tell because I don't have my proper glasses on. Yeah, it's hard to see. <sighs> yeah, see. And the silver didn't do very much. And uh, proper glasses, because that way I can see, because I'm pretty much a blind old man. Yes. Okay, so we're rolling this back and forth, this is amazing, and it didn't really add a lot of texture, but if I use the pokey side, Pokey, 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 pokey. Oh, lots of texture. Should we angle yeah. that down to show what you're doing? Well, here. it's actually it stuck. I never thought about it. I actually stuck it right to the ground. Uh, yeah, sorry guys. You know what? Uh, you wanted to actually see what I was doing. <laughs> so this time I'm just going to make something and then show you and say, hey, this is it. Um, I'm trying my silicone ice cube tray. Heart shape. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> see? see? They're playing stuff out. It's good. <laughs> right? Uh, oh, super itchy nose. What do they say? Uh, itchy nose means you're going to kiss a fool? Yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha ha Okay, so we're going to go like this. And, well, this is, this is amazing. People are going to... The snake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have guys, a feeling you might make a snake. It's a snake. And look, I can elongate it. Oh, I used a big word. I can elongate it if I want. Look. Look. look see? <laughs> and then I'm going to add textures to it. I'll make it. I'm going to grab my little trusty sculpting tools. That one's not the best, actually. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. I like this one because it got little... Uh, things I can do. Yeah, you know what? It definitely makes me think of, you know, like here's somebody who's a baker or something like that would just love doing this type of thing. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. we should try making a pie. <laughs> and we go better than Right now, cake. we shouldn't be making anything right now. That's, uh, that's absolutely wrong. Yes. Uh, maybe I should have to try to make a cake. See how that goes. We'll see. Yeah. It's so hard cooking now without being able to smell or taste because I can't even sample the stuff to make sure I have the right spices in, but I just kind of do it by eye. <laughs> I haven't poisoned you yet. Yeah. Okay, this mold doesn't work. It doesn't work? It doesn't come out? It's too soft. It's too soft. So here's my snake, guys. Look. And then he's got, he's got the texture on the back, right? And then he's got little rattle because he's a little baby rattlesnake. He's so cute. Hello, little baby rattlesnake. How are you today? Oh, I'm very fine, sir. So, ugh. Jeez, smell. <laughs> well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, the smell is actually a little bit better. I'm going to have to change my glasses out again, too. Um, Could have put some essential oils in it. That might have helped. Yeah, but then it wouldn't it'd get all sticky, I think. I think the essential oils would make it sticky. No, now my glasses are weird. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna put my other glasses on. Uh, there you are. Oh, I like that. That looks really. Sue's actually made. Uh, it kind of look kind of sweet, kind of sweet. Let's take a look at it. Oh, seems even better to the feel for it too. And that. So you've got this. Oh, look at that. Nice, pretty. Kinda. Can you see the silver little swirl? Yeah, I can see kind of a little bit of it. Not not a lot, but it's there. Maybe when it and cooks, it comes out more. Yeah. Out. Yeah, um, that's true too. Maybe when it cooks, eh, we don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. So I am putting my tools down here. Uh, 
you're going to have to make your heart because we've got to get something in the oven or in the microwave, right? So I'm going to test the microwave. Yeah, that's right. You're going to test. So Sue's going to test uh, the microwave and then also test the oven, right? Yeah. So the microwave is going to be really fast. We should be able to see right away as to hmm, what happens. And then the oven will just have to wait a while, right? And then the air dry, which would be like my guy here, which I'm going to put him in the oven. Uh, oh, he's, he's falling apart. I cut down too far. That's nice. That's lovely. I say where I want my hole to be. Well, you, oh, to uh, you can actually hang it, put it on the wall type of thing. A lot of people do that kind of stuff. That looks good. Now is it going to peel up nicely for you? I don't know. I got all. Oh, I know all these. Use a spatula. Yeah. Something nice and thin, just to slide underneath so you can pull it up. Um, you could probably do it on wax paper or something like that too, if you needed to. Uh, That's true. Then it won't yeah. have to lift it until it's baked, right? Yeah. My rattlesnake is pretty rough, but <laughs> that way I don't have to keep smelling my hands and that, and it's on my hands too. Just don't like oh. the little. Well, you could die. You could sand off later. Oh, that's true. It sands well, right? Yeah, that's right. Supposedly, you can sand it fairly easily without right. any so. issues. Well, so one heart's going to go on a plate. That heart, your heart, is going to go on, right? And that's going to go in the microwave, this one? Or is that... Yeah, I'm going to do a star, too. I'll do them both. Yeah. Together and then the other ones then... we're just going to test in the oven. So I might have to redo my snake again because he part and fell apart already. Look at his tail's falling off. Getting bigger and older by the day. You want some green? Oh, his head fell <laughs> off. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna redo this guy again. We'll give him another shot, and uh, maybe I'll put some effort into it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do him on some paper. That way, at least I can peel him off easier. Yeah, it is hard to. Yeah, it's probably to get it out. a lot easier just to put it on a piece of paper. But spatula, great idea. Great yeah. idea. Yeah. Okay, so I'm ahead of my rattlesnake. I'm gonna form it up, and then I'm going to uh, put star? a little more effort. A star. Kind of looks like a starfish right now because it's kind of wavy little. Fins. Oh, it's got the little yeah the you know like on the legs or the yeah, legs. Uh, how the starfish it moves like that, right? It goes back and forth. Yeah, so that or like look. what's the SpongeBob guy's star name? <laughs> What is his name? They paused for moments. Yep. One hour. Not Squidward, later. that's someone else. No, Squidward's the long uh, squid guy, right? And then... What letters it start with? My brain's not working. Hmm. I think the video's going to be We're gone. We're going to have to cut that out. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> All right. So, oh, back to my snake. So I'm going to add yeah, this stuff as a, like a clay is is really simple. I don't think you can do very detailed stuff with it, but you can definitely have fun with it. I mean, for sure, for sure. I mean, this is like a, I mean, I'm having fun with it just because I'm doing it with Sue and we're having fun. That's it, right? And as uh, you've heard me a million times, I like to have fun, right? Uh, and then I'm going to, oh, I'm going to actually make my rattlesnake do a full body turn and then I'm going to add this little rattler on. I wonder if when you hit it with water that it actually does a better job. So here I'm going to show you guys. Uh, there it is and then maybe I should just add some rattlesnake texture. There we are. So there it is. It's so beautiful and gorgeous that I think you guys will cry <laughs> when it comes out of the oven and I paint it and that and I'm gonna actually add nostrils to it and that and uh, yeah I like him he's kind of cute cool. but uh, yeah we'll have to put him on something like, and then put him in the oven I'm making a couple of beads but I want them all the same size so I'm measuring them in a one teaspoon measuring spoon She's measuring them. and then I'll shape them <laughs> Smart lady she is. And then poke my skewer through it. Poke the skewer through it. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, so guys, what we're going to do is now that we've got this stuff done, 
Uh, we're going to do the different tests. Microwave, check that out, see how that looks, uh, and then check out the oven. And the air dry I'm not going to do because, you know, just know that you can let it sit for 72 hours. When it feels nice and dry, it's ready for you to paint. There you are. Yeah. Right? But I think the oven and that, those ones you want to test to see what they're going to be like. Okay? So, as, as Sue pokes holes into the thing to make the beads, we will be back to show you uh, what happened with the oven the and the uh, microwave. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have actually taken some of the stuff out of the microwave. Sue's little heart. And then what I did was I sanded the edges for her. Uh, there was a little bit of puffiness here in that. But uh, depending on who you are, you can either leave it like that or you could sand it down. Uh, then she made the beads too, also worked out really, really well. Again, um, if you took it out and it was still a little bit soft after in the microwave, I'm pretty sure that it would actually dry even much faster just being in, in open air. So you don't have to worry if it's, you know, just, you know, whatever, right? Um, and then we did the star too. And again, like I just sanded off the sides for it and that, and then now she could paint it. Now I did my snake, right? And you can see him there, right? Mr. Cuteness. Uh, but the, here, check this out, listen. Right? And that was only about, uh, about two minutes in the yeah. microwave. And that's a fairly thick piece. Um, and then we have some stuff that we put in the oven mm -hmm. and we'll see how that takes, right? But I think it's uh, pretty easy just to, like I say, the microwave. Uh, there was a little bit of shrinkage on the starfish, but not bad. And again, you, you're getting the shapes and the, the things that you want out of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's much more something that you can make a little a pot or something like that and then, you know, paint it and sand it. And after it's been sanded and then painted, amazing stuff, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, it's something fun you can do with the family and the kids don't have to wait five hours yeah. to be able to use it or paint it. It's nice and quick in the microwave. Yeah. The only thing I'm going to say about the microwave is it is really hot when it comes out. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely a parental situation. Yes. Uh, oh, and uh, if you are really like me and don't want to take the time, throw it in the fridge or the freezer right after and it cools down even twice as fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Uh, and I just put it on the paper. So like I said, that's that part there, I can just sand it off and paint it up. So that's what I will be doing for my guy. I'll show you that right at the end of the video. Um, and then Sue's going to do whatever she's going to do. Maybe paint. Probably put sand. a ribbon through there or a cord oh, and a ribbon. paint pretty. something on there. Maybe some glitter. You know, I like It'll glitter. so pretty. I just, oh, she's so good crafty. Oh. Hunter makes fun of me because I'm one of those old people that like glitter everywhere. And yeah, she loves sparkle glitter. Sparkle. And... Because that's what happens. Whatever makes you happy in life, right? <laughs> As long as you're having fun. The older I get, the sparklier I get. Oh, God. She's going to be one of those little old ladies who's pushing her around. She just sparkles everywhere. Uh, and I'm going to love every minute of it. Okay. So, um, like I said, we're going to wait and do our little things like that. We'll see what the oven does. So, we will be back in seconds. All right. All right, guys. It is three hours later. Uh, and we have finished what we've uh, started. Uh, basically, the reason the three hours is because of baking. So, uh, what you'll notice right away is Sue's going to show you the microwave one, the microwave one first. Show them that one. And you'll take a look. It's got like it uh, bumped up and lumped up a little bit. So, even though the microwave one dried faster and that, um, it did have some problems. Uh, There's also a little bit of uh, shrinkage and it twisted a little bit, the stars. But if you look at the ones that she baked, total different situation, right? So there's a baked, oh yeah, there's a comparison. Big difference, So that's yeah. a baked one, and that's a microwaved one. I found also even just sanding and painting that the uh, baked one was a lot better. So if you're trying to do something really super cool, you might want to go with the baking. If you're doing it just for fun and, you know, just having fun for that day and with the kids and painting and that, then the microwave's fine right but uh you do get a bit of a difference in the the shrinkage in that like i say the shaping and everything a little bit puffiness. different yeah puffiness yeah. and stuff like that yeah so um and then even the clay that i made my great piece with uh <laughs> the uh, 
what do you call it, the snowman head, right? <laughs> uh, just a head, just a head. Uh, turned out uh, okay, but that was also with a bake. A uh, little bit of cracking, but again, that was because I didn't really put any time and effort into it. Yeah. But where I did put some time and effort into it, and it turned out so cool, was my little baby rattlesnake. Look at it. It's so cool. Right? That's cute. So, yeah, it did. It turned out cute. And now, this one here, I did actually do it in the microwave, but the clay is actually thicker. So, I don't know if that has any effect, uh, but I didn't notice any shrinking or anything like that, and it seemed to stay nice, and it hardened really easily. So, there you are. So, we are done for the evening. Thank you so much for watching the video. Also, I got to thank my partner here because she's the best, right? And uh, I don't know, should we do more videos with me and her together? Mm. So, if you like that, please let us know. Um, of course, I would do some more videos with Sue because she's great, right? So, as I've always said, be cool like a big bull moose. And remember, wear your pants. <laughs> <laughs>